KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be looking into one of the important concepts for gate architecture examination, particularly from numerical concepts point of view, and that is the topic of depreciation. Now this particular concept is important from the common part so as per the I hope you are all aware that part A that is the common part of the official syllabus has the maximum weightage of 60 marks which is the most important area which you need to focus on for your preparation. Now this particular concept numericals are asked frequently in the common part including in the gate 2024 paper as well. We will be looking into one small part of this concept of depreciation with the understanding of the terms related to it and also will solve the past gate question asked with respect which has been asked in the examination from this particular concept of depreciation. So to begin with firstly what exactly is depreciation? Let us take up with a simple example. Let us say you have or you, buy, or you purchase a new asset something like a new car let us say for rupees 10 lakh rupees for rupees 10 lakh now if you use it for few years let us say you're using the car for a period of three years and then you want to sell it off the amount which you get by selling it off selling the asset after using it for three years would probably be something less than 10 lakh rupees let us say that is something like rupees 6 lakh now that fall in the value of the original value was rupees 10 lakh over usage of three years its value has reduced to three six lakhs in the market value so that fall in the value is called as depreciation so in valuation terminology with respect to what exactly is depreciation the fall in the value of an asset due to usage is called as depreciation so in the definition of depreciation the key words are firstly depreciation is nothing but the fall in the value of an asset now why do you have the fall in the value of the asset? It is not due to dynamics of demand and supply or something like that. It's not due to inflation or change in the inflation rate, not due to changes in the demand and supply fluctuation. It is the fall in the value of an asset due to usage without considering the aspects or the influence of inflation, without considering the aspect of other external factors like demand and supply. Uh, so the fall in the value of an asset due to usage or in other words you can say the fall in the value of an asset due to reduction of its useful life so due to usage or you can say fall in the value of an asset due to reduction of its useful life so any asset which has a determined life period like for example buildings buildings also are assets which have a definite life period so anything which has a definite life will depreciate with time that is something you have to remember now do all assets depreciate obviously no for example if you take land land is an asset which is eternal which doesn't have a fixed life period so it doesn't depreciate there have been exam numericals even in the past examination in the gate exam where they ask you to find out the depreciation and you need to remember this point that the land value doesn't depreciate rather the building which has a definite life period that will depreciate such intricacies are also gate is a completely conceptual examination where the numericals might not be always straightforward such conceptual aspects are also important for the examination so that's a brief introduction as to what is depreciation fall in the value of an asset due to usage or due to reduction of its useful life like in this particular example when i say i purchase a new car let us say the life period of it is 15 years but after using it for three years the life will be reduced to just 12 years of time so that reduction of the useful life will result in the fall in the value of an asset which is called as depreciation now how to uh, account depreciation there are various methods of depreciation at gate architecture level you can learn mainly two basic methods of depreciation two or three basic methods like straight line method that's one slm diminishing balance method or declining balance method or reducing balance method it's also called and you can also learn about the sinking fund method so these are some broadly used methods of depreciation which are important from exam point of view questions can be asked from all the three areas however today's session this short video will be focused on the straight line method of depreciation which also numerical form which also has been asked recently so let us learn about the terms related to straight line method and also the math involved in it we will look into the basics of straight line method over here for today straight line method of depreciation 
why is it called a straight line method i will also discuss about that towards the end of this particular session but first let us try to understand what exactly is straight line method of depreciation starting with the basic understanding of the terminology so you have to remember all these terms whichever we are discussing even in the past examination theoretical questions on these definitions have been asked so uh, first point first term you'll need to uh, remember is with respect to the initial value the value of an asset at the beginning of its useful life is called as initial value initial value is nothing but value of an asset at the beginning of its useful life I'm not writing it in detail like you can write into your notes value of an asset at the beginning of its useful life we are talking about the assets value over here that's initial value let us say I denote initial value by I Initial value is nothing but the value at the beginning of its useful. That's the first important term to assess or to account the, met, uh, the depreciation of an asset with respect to straight line method. Second important term with this is with respect to the useful life, the age, the time period for which the asset can be economically productive. So that's number two, which you can remember that is useful life. Useful life is generally in terms of number of years. It is the time period for which let me denote it by N. Useful life is defined as the time period for which an asset is economically productive. That is number two, the second important term. Third important term. Now at the end of the useful life, any asset which has a definite life period, at the end of it, the value which an asset will still have at the end of the uh, life period, that's called a scrap value, also sometimes referred to as salvage value or residual value. So this is called a scrap value. Alternative terms include salvage value or residual value. These are the alternative terms. So what exactly is scrap value, salvage value or residual value? Value as of an asset at the end of its useful life. Value at the end of its useful life. That's referred to as scrap value. That's the third important term. Scrap value, salvage value, residual value. That's number three. Point number four is with respect to total depreciation. The difference between the initial and the scrap value. Let me denote scrap value by S. The difference between the initial and the scrap value, the total fall in the value of an asset. That's called as total depreciation. So point number four, let me write over here. Total depreciation. By definition, Total depreciation is the total fall in the value of an asset. So with respect to the total fall in the value of an asset, so let us say total depreciation is D. It will be equal to initial value minus the scrap or the salvage value. That's the total fall in the value of an asset across its useful life, which is called as total depreciation. That's point number four. Point number five is with respect to annual depreciation. Now, annual depreciation is something you calculate using straight line method. We are learning about straight line method. We are focusing on SLM over here. So annual depreciation in brackets you can write using straight line method. This will be the definition firstly. What exactly is annual? From the name itself you understand annual is per year. So in straight line method you consider that the amount of depreciation is constant every year. That's what this method is about. In straight line method you can note that the annual depreciation Annual depreciation is the fall in the value of an asset every year is a constant amount. The amount of depreciation every year is constant in straight line method. That's the assumption of the, or that's the basis of this method and annual depreciation using straight line method. Let us I denote it by A. That will be the total depreciation divided by the number of years. Let us say there's a total depreciation of 10 lakhs. If that is happening across a time period of 10 years, Per year, the depreciation will become 10 upon 10. That will be 1 lakh per year. So the annual depreciation is the total depreciation divided by the number of years in its useful life. So that's what straight line method is about. So annual depreciation will be initial value minus the scrap value divided by the number of years. That's point number five. Fifth and the final point for straight line method of depreciation is book value. So let me explain you about point number six. That is book value after x years in brackets you can write 
book value after x years firstly what exactly is book value book value is value of an asset after deducting the accumulated depreciation if you wish you can write down the definition into your notes and this definition has been asked in the pass gate examination once already and the theoretical questions as well book value of an asset is the value of an asset after deducting the accumulated depreciation across its x years of time so book value is always i cannot randomly say what is the book value of this asset i'll have to mention the age or time period as well like if the useful life is let us say 20 years i can ask you what is the book value after five years book value after four years so book value after x years will be value after value of an asset after deducting the accumulated depreciation so book value after x years will be initial value i minus the depreciation accumulated in x years annual depreciation is depreciation per year so what will be the depreciation accumulated in x years it will be x into the annual depreciation so this gives us the book value after x years using straight line method again book value of an asset after x years will be initial value minus x into annual depreciation so very quick roll uh, a very quick recall of these six points which are the basis for straight line method of depreciation point number one i that is the initial value value of an asset at the beginning of its useful life second point is n that is useful life the time period for which an asset is economically productive that is n third point is scrap value also sometimes referred to as salvage value or residual value that's the value of an asset at the end of its useful life point number four is total depreciation that is the difference between initial and the scrap value i minus s is called as total depreciation d the next point annual depreciation that's the fifth point depreciation per year now this is using straight line method. straight line method the assumption is that the annual depreciation is the same amount every year considering the amount of depreciation is every year is equal every year the annual depreciation will come out to be the total depreciation d divided by the number of years in its useful life that can also be written as i minus s upon n and the final point is book value after x years book value is defined as the value of an asset after deducting the accumulated depreciation across its x years of time so book value after x years will be initial value i minus the depreciation of x years that is x into annual depreciation so that's a quick recall of the basics of straight line method of depreciation i hope this concept is clear let me very briefly also tell you why is it named a straight line method of depreciation the main reason over here for it to be named a straight line method of depreciation is if you plot a graph between the value of an asset's a asset and its age in years, the aging on the x-axis and let us say plot value on the y-axis. When the age is zero, let us say the value is something like 10 lakh over here. After one year, if the value is becoming 9 lakhs, let us say it is reaching over here. After the second year, it will again fall down by the same amount, it will reach 8 lakhs after the third year it will reach to 7 lakhs so the amount of depreciation will be same every year now when the amount of depreciation is constant every year and you plot a graph between the age on the x-axis and the value on the y-axis you'll get a straight line with a uniform slope and that's the reason it is it gets that name of straight line method of depreciation that's the basis for it let us with this concept i hope your understanding of what a straight line method of depreciation i think that's clear for you Remember, this is a numerical concept important from common part point of view. Common part is a scoring area for you in the examination. Doing well in the numericals of the common part is of utmost importance to get a good rank in the gate architecture examination. So let us look into a practice question on this concept which has been asked in the recent gate. This is a two marks gate question from the common part asked in the year 2024. Um, so the question goes this way. At present, the cost of a new office equipment is uh, 50,000 so when something is in new condition 50,000 rupees that's the value so let us say the initial value because initial value is the value of an asset when it is at the beginning of its useful life when it is in new condition so i is given as rupees 50,000 furthermore it says that the salvage value after the useful life of five years useful life is given as five years and the salvage value at the end of the five years is given as 15 percent of the initial value 15% of the initial value will be 0 0.15 into 50,000. So you can calculate this and have the salvage value uh, ready for you to uh, uh, you, uh, do the further calculation. Using straight line method of depreciation, they're asking us what will be the book value of the equipment after three years from now. After three years, 
what's going to be the book value that's the question which has been asked for two marks in the examination so first things first you'll need to calculate what the scrap value exactly is which is 15 percent of 50,000. that is coming out to be the scrap value is coming out to be 7500 rupees so we have the scrap value we also have the initial value that is rupees 50,000. book value after three years as i told you it is defined as the uh, value of the asset after deducting the accumulated depreciation so i initial value minus three years of depreciation so for that we need to first calculate what is the annual depreciation which is total depreciation divided by the number of years in the useful life total depreciation is i minus s i minus s upon n that will give us the annual depreciation never by heart any formula particularly in conceptual things conceptual areas like depreciation understand the basis and understand the concept nothing to by heart over here annual depreciation is total depreciation divided by the number of years total depreciation is total reduction in the value of the asset so what is the total fall in the value of the asset from 50,000 it is coming down to 7,500 so you can write it as 50,000 minus minus 7500 divided by the number of years in its useful life that is coming out to be 5 so you can simply calculate that 50,000 minus 7500 you can use your calculators you'll have an on-screen calculator in the examination uh, that divided by the number of years is coming out to be rupees 8500 that's coming out to be the annual depreciation in this question so what will be the book value after three years initial value that is 50,000 minus three years of depreciation three into eighty five hundred so the book value after three years you can simplify that and you'll easily get the answer eighty five hundred into three is twenty five thousand five hundred when you subtract that from fifty thousand you should be getting twenty four thousand five hundred that's the answer for us the book value after three years is coming out to be twenty four thousand five hundred which is initial value minus deducting the accumulated depreciation across three years of time so that's the concept of straight line method now this question has been asked with respect to depreciation using straight line method if you are uh, interested in having a dedicated preparation for the gate examination with a thorough understanding similarly for other two methods of depreciation also and scored well in the examination you can enroll into uh, the coaching classes you cannot you can enroll into the upcoming batch by kp gate classes you can contact the number given in the description of this video and get in touch with the counselors who will help you through the enrollment process for the upcoming batch and to stay ahead of others for your preparation for gate architecture 2025 Thank you, Evie. KP Classes, dedicated to excellence.